Once you've created your class notebook inside the team that you set up, you will want to begin opening it and editing it. One thing that Teams has not allowed much space for inside their interface is room to open and edit your class notebook. So my recommendation is to use the OneNote program that's already installed on your computer. With the notebook open that you just created, click on the Edit Notebook tab at the top and choose Edit in Microsoft OneNote. You will then be prompted to edit in the OneNote that is installed on your computer. In my case, I have OneNote 2016, so I will click the button Open OneNote 2016. The browser window that we just left will stay open in the background and in front the OneNote desktop application will open. You may be asked a security question as Microsoft OneNote will, will receive information from the link where your OneNote class notebook is stored online. It sees this as a potential security risk. Since you know that it's not a security risk, go ahead and say yes to do you want to continue. Click the yes button now. Your class notebook will be opened inside OneNote and should be synchronized automatically. Bringing all the information that you created when you set up your class notebook in Teams into your desktop OneNote application. Here you can see the tabs that were created earlier. The Collaboration Space tab, which is currently blank with only information from Microsoft telling you how to get started. If we hit the green arrow here, it will navigate us back to the previous section. The Content Library, which is still currently blank of my content, but may have some content that Microsoft has embedded to help you get started. Again, I'll click the green navigation and you can see that there are some students that we added earlier to this particular class notebook and these are their private sections where they, when they log into the class notebook, will have all of the private sections set up that we set up earlier. So if I click on Chris Daniels, you can see that he has the sections that we set up earlier when we set up this class notebook, a section for class notes, a section for class work, a section for handouts, and a section for quizzes. When this student logs into his notebook, he can also click this plus sign to add additional sections that he would like to add to his own private notebook. Only this student and his teacher, which would be you since you set up this notebook, will be able to see it. To go back to the teacher's class notebook, we simply click the green arrow which will navigate us back to the previous section. In the next video tutorial, we will cover using the class notebook and synchronizing the class notebook to update it with new students.